Franz Wolf was born on April 9, 1907, in Krummau, in what was then Austria-Hungary, now Czeski Krumlov in the southwest of the Czech Republic. Not much is known all about his early life, but he served in the Czechoslovak army and in the German Wehrmacht, before he was posted to Hardemar Euthanasia Center, and the Heidelberg Psychiatric Clinic where patients deemed beyond the reach of therapy were murdered. In the name of science, Wolf's job was to photograph the mentally ill before they were gassed. Together with his brother Joseph, he was sent to the Sobibor extermination camp in German-occupied Poland in early March 1943, as a specialist in euthanasia. The gassing operations at Sobibor had been at full throttle since May 1942, up to 200,000 or more, mostly, Jewish, prisoners were killed there. Wolf served in the camp until the prisoner uprising in 1943. He liked to hang around the camp's so-called, barber shop, where his brother was a squad leader, and he would watch naked women having their heads shaved by the Sonder Commando. He supervised the sorting barracks where belongings of the victims were processed, and also led the Vault Commando, Forest Brigade, cutting trees for the fueling of cremation buyers in the camp's killing zone. Wolf was presented with an arrest warrant in 1964, while living in Eppleim, in West Germany. In 1966, a court in Hagen sentenced him to eight years' imprisonment for his role as an overseer of a slave labor commando that sorted the belongings of victims who'd already been killed. Wolf, in his work, as the warehouse clerk, was charged with personally killing one Jew, and with helping to murder an additional 115,000 others. He was found guilty of assisting in the murder of, at least 39,000 Jews, this number chosen randomly for judicial purposes. Not much is known about him after this, but it's very likely served at least half his sentence. He died in Palling, in Bavaria, on October 9, 1999, at the age of 92. The